So in the videos leading up to this point, we've given you the information you need to set up and uh, adjust your AS3X system and install your AS3X system in your aircraft. At this point, you should be ready to fly. We'd like to take the next few sections to explain the functions and features of the AS3X system. One of the first functions we'd like to talk about is your initialization power-up uh, of the model. So when you first turn the model on, the model needs to be sitting motionless for about two to three seconds. This is required so that the AS3X system and the sensors, internal system sensors, can actually initialize. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the transmitter on. Then I'm going to turn the receiver on. And you'll notice, after the receiver connects and it sits motionless for a couple seconds, the control surfaces bump and they go up and down about 30% of travel. After they go through that process, that now you're ready to fly. So if for some reason you turn the system on and you don't see that, chances are that there's motion um, occurring in your aircraft and you, know, you haven't initialized and you're not re ready to fly. So for example, if it's really windy, the airplane can be bumped around and moved around. Um, that could be one of the things that could be occurring if it doesn't initialize. But essentially, every time you turn the system on, you should see this initialization pump. When you see that bump, you're ready to fly.